talking to me? You talking to me? No, seriously. Are you talking to me? Wait, I think it's me talking to me. Well, I guess I should have waited until I was alone to talk to myself. I'm kind of embarrassed, but just for laughs, with the show of hands, how many of you talk to yourselves? Okay. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, okay, it's just too many to count. Now, don't be that guy that doesn't want to participate or to admit that you talk to yourself. We're here for you. It's okay. We're here for you. Put that hand up. Go ahead, go ahead, put it up. Put it up. Almost there. Oh my God. So proud of So, so proud of Good job. As a matter of fact, we all do it. My mama used to say, it's okay to talk to yourself, but just don't answer yourself, because that means you're crazy. Well, mama, if you can see me now, you're a baby boy. It is probably crazy. Because I talk and I answer. There's two types of talk that we do daily. That's talking to others and talking to yourself. There's a constant interchatter and judgment going on all the time. And some louder than others. But most of the conversations that you have is with yourself. It's all enjoyed and inclusive in the privacy of your own mind doesn't matter who you are, what you are, what you do, how you do it. A lot of your time is spent talking to you. You talk to yourself when you exercise, while you're working, when you're eating, while walking, when texting, reading, praying, meditating, crying, arguing, planning, having sex alone or with someone. You name it. You even do it in your sleep. In all actuality, you're doing it right now. But seriously, there's been studies done to say we have over 50,000 thoughts daily. 50,000 thoughts per day. Can you imagine having 50,000 conversations in a day? Well, I guess you can say you can because you kind of do. Some of these conversations are conversations you wish you never had. Some of the things you say and some of the things you think you're kind of trying to move on from. You would wish that you could move on and defeat these things. But all these thoughts in one day, you wish you could put them in certain categories. Like here would be the significant and here would be the insignificant. You wish you could, but you can't because none of our thoughts comes with an announcement. Like a wrestler coming to the ring or a boxer coming to the ring, right? And in this and corner, this corner Wayne at an astounding weight of miserable, of miserable here is, here is Feeling sorry, sorry, for, sorry myself. for myself. No, they don't come like that. But here's a psychological fact, and I actually believe it. The kind of talk that you engage in has a huge effect on the quality of your life, simply meaning that the language that you use to describe the situations will affect the way you feel, will affect the way you look at it. It'll affect the whole situation, period. It will definitely affect how you deal with your life and life's problems, both big and small. So. The positive talking that you do with yourself, it will change your mood, increase your self-confidence, boost your productivity, and so much more. Speaking positive to yourself can be the main ingredients to a happy, healthy, and successful life. Good news, right? But the bad news is, is that the opposite is also true. Negative self-talk would affect your life as well. It can put you in a bad mood and leave you feeling helpless. It will make small problems be larger than what they really are, or even create problems that don't even exist. So to make a long story short, our thoughts and our emotions have an entanglement. Like the way I use entanglement, entanglement, I use entanglement, entanglement. You are your thoughts. Meaning if you say it or if you think it, nine times out of 10, 
you're going to do it. So the way you talk about a situation, be it negative or even being positive, can shift the way you feel about it. Here you can see how some of our thoughts can be irrational at times or just plain flat out lies. Negative thoughts can play in your head over and over again in a shuffle or however you want to put them, just like records. Thoughts like, I'll never be good enough. I'll never get better. I'm not good enough. My life is over. I'll never find love. I'm so ugly. I'm so My bad. life Another bad day. I'm always messing up. I'm Whatever love someone like me, I'm worried I won't be. How can I start a business that everybody else is doing too? No one will listen to me. This is hard for me. Life is unfair. And if you act now, we'll give you some more negatives with love. Love stinks. Love sucks. Love hurts. Nobody loves me. And our favorite, it seems like everybody is in love except for me. Which proves that sometimes we overreact to situations and have said some things that made us feel a certain way about our lives, which leads to unrelated anger and frustration. So stop, stop listening. Stop believing the negative talk. Stop giving in. Stop the conversation. Every negative thought that comes to your mind, for every negative thought, counter it with a positive one. Stop, say the positive about yourself so you can regain, stop, say the opposite of the negative to regain your positive self. Watch the album selection start to change. Watch how your mood will change and watch how your attitude changes about your situations. Your mind is built to win. So win on a positive note. Try it, try it. Repeat after me. Today is gonna be a good day. Okay. Let's try it again, let's try it again. One more time. Today is gonna be a good day. All right, do me a favor, lift your head high. Say it like this, today is gonna be a good day. Mm, music to my ears, I'm so proud of you. And you should be proud of you too. So now go, have a great day. See you next time.